Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Beckham Wood. I do lots of tech, gaming, and Minecraft. Um, sorry for the bad audio and video quality. Um, my iPad camera is not working. So we're just going to have to deal with this for this video. But let's get into it, because today I'm going to show you guys how to make thumbnails and put them on your videos. Let's start. Alright, so. First up. So here's my channel. Um, first, you're going to want to have um, YouTube Studio, okay? Um, this is going to be your way to do everything, all right? Let me get this a little wider. Alrighty, so once you have YouTube Studio, um, you just search up your studio, signing with your Google account, all right? Then you're going to want to go to Google Drive. That would be the easiest way. And then, new, more, and then I would click a brand new Google Drawing. And then it will bring you right here. Um, blank screen, okay? Um, actually, it would, it would probably look more like that, okay? And then, first step, you're going to want to find these lines right down here. And drag it out. I mean, just so it's more of a rectangle, okay? Because um, YouTube thumbnails aren't normal squares, they are rectangles, okay? Once that's done, um, okay, I'm, gonna I'm just going to show you guys to do how to do everything, alright? So, if you click on that right there, you have shapes, arrows, callouts, equations. So, we can just click on, let's see. Let's click on, oh well, yeah, let's do, let's do a circle. So we just got a plain circle right here. And to duplicate, and let's just make it a little bigger, okay? Well, now we have two circles. Actually, let's make, like, come under. Okay. Um, sometimes it can get a little hard to get a perfect circle, but that looks pretty decent for now. If you click on it twice, the shape, you, it gives you a text option. So, just type how to do. Let's just type that. Doesn't mean anything, but alright. So, I like using um, Oswald. If you click fonts up there. I like using Oswald, and then I click Bold, or Command B, and then for thumbnails, I would use anything from a font size 70 to a font size 100. Anything smaller than 70, so let's do 50. That look, may look pretty big on your computer, but if you're looking at a thumbnail that is scaled down, you will not be able to see it at all. So um, I'll just do a 70 for now. And as you can see, it does not fit in the shape, so let's make that a little bigger. There we go. So if you click on the shape, we have a couple options up here. So first we have a border color. You can do transparent, so there's no defined border around the shape. Or you can do like a, a black or like a red. Um, let's go for more of a, or a black. And then uh, we can click on that, and you can change the color of the shape. So turn it red. So now we have a black border, and sometimes the border isn't big enough. So we can change the border weight. So right now it is on a two pixel, I think. Yeah, that is really small. If you really wanted to stand out, I would make it a lot bigger. Because when it's scaled down, it may look dorky right now, but when it's scaled down, it will look way better, trust me. Uh, we can do um, similar things with this, so let's make this one blue, and let's just make this one yellow, okay? So we also have a text box option. Right here, you just can just get a text box, okay? And, okay, just put that there. Um, again, you can highlight it, change it. Tons of fonts, but I use these ones mostly. 
Um, so let's do not. Let's just type do Comic Sans. Okay. Uh, let's increase the size a little. Remember, we want it to be visible. So let's do a 100. This is not going to be a nice thumbnail, but this is just the basics of Google Drawings, okay? Uh, you can change the font color right here, or text color, sorry. So let's just give it a nice red, or yeah. You can do italic, which tilts it, see that? So I'll put that on. Then you can underline it, which will give it a much more bold appearance. You can go also give it a border color to the text box. So as you can see, there's like a border around the hello now. And then you can change this. So let's make it white. Now there's a defined box around the hello. Make it a little smaller, a little more. See? Next, what I want to show you guys is insert image. So you can upload it from your computer, so if you have something saved on your desktop, you can just upload that straight to here. But what I do is I search the web. You can also go to insert up here, image, search the web. Then um, these are non-copyright images. So um, if you put these and you upload it on YouTube, you will not get any copyright strikes, okay? So let's just search up Minecraft. Minecraft pig, okay. Um, let's do a PNG. Um, I guess there isn't anything. Let's, that's not a PNG. Or maybe. No, let's enter those both, okay. See which one's a PNG. Oh, they both are. Okay, so PNGs are pretty much see-through images. So... There's like no background to them. You can put them wherever. So let's put this creeper right there, down there. Okay. And then we can make this as the background. So let's stretch this, get it right in the center. And then if you click arrange right up here, order, you can send it to the back. So now everything else is in front of it. Okay. Or, let's do Command Z, Command Z, and delete it. We can also, let's do this, search the web. Let's just get let's just find a red and blue photo, okay? Let's, let's just do let's do this, okay? Put this in. Get that right up in the corner and stretch it right down to that corner. Okay, and then I'm going to center it. And then that red line, if you guys see that, that popped up, that pretty much is telling you that is in the center. So arrange, order, send it back, and boom. Now you have this. And, okay, once you finish, so this, this is our thumbnail, right? I'm going to click File download and I would download it as a JPEG okay because JPEG is the only way to actually put it into Google um, or sorry YouTube studio so let's just do an example let's just go to our Minecraft one I'm not actually gonna change it but when you scroll down uh, you can change all everything about it and right here um, it will be empty, actually. So, we do that. Drag this from here. Put it in there. And boom. There, There's your thumbnail. And now that is what the thumbnail will look like while you're scrolling through YouTube. Okay? So, that is how you would do it. Um, discard those changes. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please go um, hit a sub down below. I do lots of other tutorials. And uh, actually, you guys can look through my content real quick.
I do lots of Minecraft, how to's, um, bedroom, game room, um, lots of series, um, fun content. Um, 128 subscribers, I am so happy. We are growing really quick. And go check out Benster911 as well. Um, I collabed with him the other day. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys next video. Goodbye.